Welcome to Electron Online. Our new series on astronomy will deal with telescopes. Our universe is so vast, so enormous, that most of it is out of reach. Out of reach as far as ever traveling to any places other than maybe our solar system itself. So for us to understand and to study and to learn about our universe, we need to have telescopes. We need to have devices that be able to bring those faraway places closer by where I can actually see them. And so one method of that, of course, is using telescopes. And not just any telescope. When people think about telescope, we typically think about the telescopes that we can buy at the local store or the ones we've seen in movies where we simply look through the lenses and we see the images, visual, visual images of the universe. But a lot of universe is hidden to us if we only use visual telescopes, telescopes that we can see in the visible, with, see with in the visible light. Instead, we also look at the universe with various other types of telescopes. For example, infrared telescopes, UV telescopes, radio telescopes, yes, and even gamma rays and X-ray telescopes. And what that does for us is it reveals things that otherwise would remain hidden to us. As an example, here we have the galaxy M82, which looks like a typical spiral galaxy in visible light. You see the large dust lanes that run through it and all the stars, the billions and billions of stars that make up the galaxy. But if we take a look at the very same galaxy with an infrared telescope, all of a sudden we see a vast amount of additional stuff. We see a glow of red light on both sides of the, of the uh, galaxy, basically encapsulating the galaxy in a large spherical shape. And this radiation can only come from matter that, of course, is much cooler than the rest of the galaxy where all the stars are at, but yet hot enough to give off infrared radiation and in vast quantities over huge regions around the galaxy. And so the question then begs, what is that stuff? And so by studying that infrared radiation coming from that region, we can start developing theories about what that may be and help us understand how galaxies are formed and what they're made out of. So this would never have been discovered if it wasn't for the fact that we look at everything through various telescopes, including infrared, visible light, UV, and also X-rays, gamma rays, and radio telescopes. And yes, if we can, micro -tel micro -telescope, microwave telescopes as well. So what we're going to do in this chapter is go through, first of all, what telescopes are, and then how we use them, how they've gotten bigger and bigger and why, and how we've done that, and then look at various types of telescopes and see how they work. It's actually pretty fascinating. If you're interested, stay tuned and see what I have in store for you. 